Tequila Jefe coming at you with an H. We have a special delivery. I just heard. Come on. Follow me. Follow, follow, follow. <gasps> Ta da! Fragile. Fragile. Uh oh. Look, it says this package contains alcohol, adult signature required, check ID. Oh, we won't get anybody in trouble, but I didn't see anybody sign anything. It's all good. <laughs> all right, okay. We are going to go to the studio for a special edition of Tequila Jefe with an H, unveiling of this delivery. Come on, come on, come on. This is where my daughter lives, and so do not look at any of this stuff. I'm blocking it with the camera. Yes. All right. Ah, yeah. Okay. So, special edition, Tequila Jefe delivery. So all my peeps out there, just so you know, stuff's getting harder and harder to find. I think I told you guys that maybe the last episode or a couple episodes ago, all right? So I'm having to pull out some special resources to, to find the stuff and get it delivered to Tejas, to Texas. So anyway, always cut away from yourself. Do not want anybody to lose an eye. As I cut towards myself. All right. You ready? Okay. Thought that was a spider. Okay. So we're gonna have to bring this down here a little lower. Check this out. Okay, we're coming down lower. You guys gotta check this out because I don't want to take any chances. Ooh, baby. What do we have here? What do we have? This is very well packed. Very nice. Very nice. This is Suavecito Extra Anejo. And I don't know if you guys caught the fact that I was like a little surprised because this bottle is usually like this shape. But I think they're just trying to be able to figure out whatever kind of bottles they can use. But this is still the nice little uh, like life jacket it has. Okay. Continue on. Okay. Ah, okay. So what I did is, by the way, I can't find this at Total Wine anymore, everybody. So I ordered two bottles of this online. You guys hit me up and um, I'll, I'll get to the website. I just can't remember what it is. So anyway, two bottles of this. We're gonna, we're gonna do this one tonight, all right? But I want to show you what else I got because I want to whet your appetite for the next Tequila Jefe episode, which is, this is my wife's and I will have her as the guest. And this one, I can't get in Houston anymore either. And none of my liquor stores can. All my peeps, even my neighbor, he's like really connected with this particular tequila. I cannot get him either. This is solidly packed, okay, everybody? This is, this is very well done. I'm sorry to bore you with this, but the reveal is going to be amazing. So, 
Once again, please subscribe to my channel and thank you all for subscribing to my channel and please like what you see. Go back and check out some of the uh, other videos that, uh, that I've done. I would appreciate it. And oh, the Riazor Anejo. Mama's gonna be happy tonight. So what I did, I got two of these. I got another one here, but we're not gonna bother you with that tonight. So love to have this addition. So we'll do it, we'll do this at another two and a half day event. So the Suavecito I was introduced by my friend Clint. And Clint represents the Senor Rio, the river of might. It's not really what it means, but we're gonna change the name of it. So, so Clinton, it's actually Clinton, he introduced me to the Suavecito. Okay, as you can, as the name probably, you can surmise, Suavecito, Suave. We're gonna pull out a different shot glass tonight. This is Atlanta, Midtown. Uh, yeah, my best friend, Jeff Parker, got me this. Jeff, thanks for following me, buddy. And thank you for all my subscribers. So, here we go. Open it up. I've had this before, but it's been a long time because I can't find it. The cork doesn't give you much. This is where you do the little shot, little baby, little sipper. Hopefully I'll find the bottle and hopefully they'll make it because it was a really cool kind of a pear-shaped bottle. But as long as the tequila doesn't change, I don't care what they put it in, honestly. Smell the oak, for sure. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I forgot how smooth that was. Um, not really vanilla -y, but just really smooth. Um, I'll get it here in a second. So it, this is truly, um, I bet this has been in age at least five years, at least five years. Mm. All right. No bite to it at all. Um, maybe just that, I, I, again, I, I taste the oak. So this is, this is like the smoothest, if you, you bourbon drinkers out there, this is probably the smoothest tasting tequila you've ever had, okay? I mean, and I don't put it in the bourbon category necessarily. Uh, maybe the one I did.